Okay, so I wanted to do a quick video because I didn't see anything that made sense online. On, um, I've got a Lenovo T470 here and another one right here. This is my personal laptop that's uh, in good working condition. This one I bought off of eBay and it was like 300 bucks, but it was missing um, a hard drive. And also it had uh, what seemed to be a fan issue because when it would spin up, the fan would make some noise. Uh, and it wasn't, you know, when I bought it, I wasn't quite sure whether or not it was going to be functional or not. But turns out it is actually in perfect shape. The fan issue wasn't even a fan issue. There was a um, the uh, set of screws that hold the keyboard tight to the chassis from the back. They were actually loose. So this, when the PC would come on, I think it was the fan was... Uh, vibrating against the keyboard and it wasn't coming on. So anyway, I, I bought a um, NVMe um, crucial drive, 250 gig off of Amazon for 50 bucks. I uh, put it in and then another thing I had to do was I had to buy uh, one of these old school things, uh, a USB flash drive. And once I did that, um, so this is a this is a really big one. It's a 256 gig one, at least by today's standards, it's pretty big. Um, and uh, I needed this because uh, the Lenovo recovery disk, let me see here. If I go to my uh, downloads page and actually run the recovery software, that's what it looks like. So let's see. Okay, so that's what it is. You click that to download recovery. Okay, so the way you do this, you actually go to the Lenovo website, uh, say you want to recover, you have to put in your serial number. They send you an email where you can go and download this application, you run it, and then it asks you for a login name and password, you enter that. Then when you click download, it takes uh, depending on the size of your, uh, the, your bandwidth, I mean, it only took me less than an hour, but I've got 300 uh, um, and, and be down so um it, it's like a 16 gigabyte download and it's basically uh let's see all of these files okay there it's a bunch of files it's like 180 files that get downloaded as a part of this um, and then, uh, then you, you get in here and you say, I want to create a recovery USB key, which uses all those files to create your recovery key onto one of these guys. You take this and you plug it onto the, um, the, the laptop in question, the one you're trying to recover and you literally just boot and it should come up if it doesn't i mean i had to goof around with it a bit <laughs> actually it turned out i had screwed something up but i mean you know you may have to mess around with the bio settings a little bit to um um get this get get it to boot from this and i read a bunch of articles of people having all kinds of different issues but for me this worked uh make sure you've got a usb key drive that is at least 20 gigs um because the image is actually 17 gigs, but uh, the software, this application is pretty finicky about what you put in. And don't put it on like an SD drive, even though it works, okay? You can't boot from an SD drive on the new machine. So that was high wasted several hours earlier. So this is a 128 gig SD drive that ended up not working out because I needed one of these guys, okay? So you have to have something that goes in a USB port. It doesn't count if you, if it can mount from your working PC. Anyway, you put it in, I'm about 30 minutes into this now, and it went and it kind of like froze for a while. Um, I'd say about 10, 15 minutes, it, it froze on like a loading screen, but the instructions had said that it would possibly do that and now we're at a point where it looks like windows is running and it's now restarting uh we'll see where it goes this machine actually came with 16 gigs of ram no hard drive and a i7 6500u processor which is actually a pretty decent processor that's also a decent amount of ram and looks like we're we're well into the recovery process here. It's logging in as administrator into Windows. It probably has a few more things to do, but I thought it was helpful to put this together to kind of go through the whole thing. Anyway, the whole thing starts with just Google search Lenovo recovery disk. It takes you to a site where you type in your serial number, sends you an email, you use that email to download this application, this application, 
then when you log in with a username and password that you created earlier uh, during that uh, serial number process, uh, allows you to download the recovery image. You then put the recovery image in it in a USB drive. It has to be a USB, you know, flash drive probably. Uh, it did, uh, oh, it bears to say it also didn't work as a USB disc. It didn't want to write to this. So this is a brand new like Samsung one terabyte drive, I think. On, yeah, one terabyte drive. And it did not write to this. I couldn't tell you why. That's stupid because it is USB, but I didn't write to it. It had to be like a flash drive for it to write to it. And again, this thing is still recovering. So it, 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 it's been about maybe 30, 35 minutes. I would give it like an hour maybe, I'm guessing. Um, so yeah, uh, overall a pretty simple process and I got myself a, you know what I would think into a 2018 right now, this thing is worth it, it, by the way, it has like z it shows zero signs of use. I mean, it's in beautiful, pristine condition. The screen, I did all the 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 BIOS tests. Everything passed perfectly uh, before I started, and I recommend you doing that because if, because if you go through this whole process of wasting a day and find out there's an issue with like the CPU, then you wasted a lot of time. I went through all the BIOS tests. The screen performed perfectly, and all that. So I feel like I got probably what's probably worth about seven or eight hundred bucks for three hundred and sixty bucks plus a fifty dollar NVMe um, uh, hard drive from Amazon. Um, I only replaced it with NVMe, by the way, because that's what was there to begin with. And if you're familiar, there's a little NVMe adapter inside that you have to do uh, that you have to plug it into, and uh, goes to goes without saying. When you're opening one of these things, and I used to be one of the guys that threw caution to the wind until I fried one of these guys just a few weeks ago. When you're opening one of these, it helps to wear one of these um, one of these bracelets, the static bracelets. And I've got this like grounded. This is a mat that I picked off on Amazon. I, I actually quite like it. Helps to have a good set of tools. Um, and if oh, by the way, when you want to open up the chassis on one of these ThinkPads. Obviously, you're going to turn it over. Uh, make sure you go into the BIOS and disable the internal battery first. It's under the power settings. Once you do that, you unplug and obviously take out the battery, uh, undo the screws, and then start pulling apart from the back, like from inside the battery bay. Start pulling. Do not do it from the front. Don't do it from this side. You'll break all of these tabs. It's designed to be open from the rear, and I might do another video for that, but... Um, I might not, uh, but now you know. It's just as simple as that, though. You you start from the back. Helps to have some tools, uh, but you don't really need them. I mean, you need a good set of nice screwdrivers so that you don't scratch up or uh, make your uh, uh, the screws that are in there. Uh, you don't want to ruin those. And I also have I also have this kit from iFixit um, that I use to pry things open. But honestly, I've gotten so good at opening these uh, T470s because I've got a bunch of them that I feel like I don't really need a kit anymore. But for your first time, use a kit. Uh, use something. Use use a tool to do prying uh, so you don't ruin it. Uh, that's that's all I that's all I said. I want to say about this. I guess uh, this thing is still recovering, but I'm confident it's actually going to work now. Um, I want to keep this video short. It's already gone to like nine minutes, so. Um, good luck and uh, leave your comments if you have any questions. Thanks.